I do think that she was probably the one that didn't shine through hard enough. India 2.0 here, remodeled, remastered, and ready for action. Welcome to Page Six, you look incredible. Of course, India Farah, this is you in complete day drag, incredible. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm so excited to be interviewing with you. You're giving me Tiger King realness right now. Oh, definitely, Miss Baskins if you're nasty. <laughs> you won the first challenge in season five of All Stars. I mean, take, take us through what was going through your head at that moment. Um, a lot of nerves. <laughs> it kind of struck me. I'm like, oh my God, am I good enough? Like, and it turns out you I were want the best this. That week. And, it, <laughs> and it turns out I left my heart on the stage. I went out there and, you know, I did what I do pretty much in every show. I love to entertain and I'm an entertainer at heart. I thought I was watching it in fast forward. It was like, <laughs> it was so amped up and just such high energy and seeing the judges just like completely flipping out over it. I, I, felt, I felt like I was there. To see Rue and Michelle and everyone just live and see Ricky Martin do my little hairography, <laughs> gagged. <laughs> Incredible. Drag is not a contact sport. <laughs> did you get any one-on-one -on -one time with Ricky? I did not. I wish I do. <laughs> I would love to shake my bonbon for him, but no. Why would I be happy for someone that does a number that disrespects me and puts my name in that it? Why would I want to be happy for her? You called her a pig in a wig. It was not to her. All right, we have to talk about also that feeling uh, of seeing Derek Berry sent home. You win the challenge. Derek goes home. Would you have picked Derek? Was he on your lipstick? Uh, he was on my lipstick, and the reason I picked him was because I saw more growth in Mayhem, mm -hmm. and I saw more potential. I know Mayhem personally, and I know what she has to offer, and she was not done showing what she had to do. Definitely not. So you're saying there was no grudge there? There was no feud? No, really. Um, I judged fairly. Um, I took into consideration everyone, like everyone's opinions, um, you know, and the judges' critiques. Mm -hmm. and. Out of talent, I mean, I do think that she was probably the one that didn't shine through hard enough. I'm not surprised that India can't keep my name out of her mouth because obviously she's obsessed. Before we move on, it is page six. We love the gossip. Is there is there anything, updates, anything about the Derek Berry, India Farah feud, the beef, or is it dead? Is it done? Well, I don't know. I mean, I keep getting messages from fans sending me links to like press interviews that she's done and keep bringing up my name, but it is what it is and it'll be what it'll be. I mean, I have respect for Derek. I think everyone was brought back for a reason, handpicked by Rue. So I definitely respect her and what she brings to the competition. All right, so um, I think Drag Race is the perfect quarantine show and I'm so glad that there's been back-to-back -back seasons. Oh yeah. How are you watching the show at home? Like, what's your routine? Well, we have our drag daughter over. Uh, her name is Rain, and we watch it with her every Friday. Um, we order pizza. We have our own little viewing party. I mean, it's sad that we can't be out in the clubs with everyone and you know performing. I miss that energy, but I'm not too mad because I kind of get to see it like one on one with me and the TV, and I get to see the power of editing. I totally agree. When I watch the show at a bar, I miss so many little jokes and little right. editing maneuvers. And uh -huh. then I want to watch it again at home, like with the lights off. Like, <laughs> yes. Just like a little private moment with you in the show. <laughs> <laughs> it's so exciting though. This season is absolutely incredible and it is honestly mind blowing. It's going to be great.